Trump signed an executive order designating meat processing plants as essential, encouraging them to stay open as fears grow about a possible meat shortage. A bill Ricca company says it's already working to meet an increase in demand. WBZ's Anna Myler has the details. Some of the country's largest meat processing plants have been forced to shut down because of outbreaks of the coronavirus, meaning consumers could soon face the consequences of a food chain disruption. I would say the first week of May is, is when you, it's very possible that you'll begin to experience uh, some shortages. President Trump is trying to mitigate the risk of that happening by signing an executive order compelling meat processing plants to stay open during the pandemic. Taking the liability, which frees up the entire system, and I fully understand it, not their fault. Barry Harris, a 20 year employee of the now shuttered Tyson meat plant in Logansport, Indiana, says companies should take the blame for reacting too slowly and turning his workplace into a hot spot. I've heard supervisors say that it's just a virus like the flu. With plants shutting down, livestock is now piling up at farms. When that backs up, the whole system sort of collapses. More and more people are turning to local companies like the Walden Local Meat Company in Bill Ricca. They work with 75 farms in New York and New England to deliver meat directly to customers' doorsteps. CEO Charlie Cummings says they're experiencing 10 times their normal demand. Right now, they have to put new customers on a waiting list. And I think it's about again like the resiliency of local systems and um, being able to drive to a farm that's producing your food is is increasingly meaningful in times like this. Cummings says they put safety measures in place early on including temperature checks, wearing masks and social distancing. So far they haven't had any cases of the coronavirus. Reporting in Bill Ricca, Anna Myler, WBZ News.